In today's video, we're going to take the traditional baking soda and vinegar experiment a couple steps further. So this is just some basic vinegar. I've poured it into a, grad, a beaker because it's easier and because I have beakers at my house. Um, but you obviously don't have to use a beaker. You can pour it into whatever vessel you want. However, if you're doing this with your high school students as a limiting reagent type experiment, you would obviously need to know the volume. We also have our baking soda, just regular old baking soda. And I've got a big graduated cylinder on hand, which we'll be using here in a few minutes. Now, everybody's familiar with your regular elementary school version of this experiment, right? We've got our little volcano. We're going to make it erupt. What color do you want to use, guys? Red, red and okay. yellow. Okay. And blue. Okay. Well, we're going to have some fun. And green. We're going to do all the colors. And blue. Yeah. And green and yellow. All the colors. Of the and the okay. We're going to make a mixture green. here. At our house, see what we get. That's right. Uh, and and that's very right. So we're doing volcanoes today. Yes, that's right. Okay, guys, that's enough. We're doing all our mixture here. Let's see what what happens. I think it'll probably come off in phases. I do. Okay, now this is the elementary school version, and you know. Nothing wrong with your regular old volcano. Are you ready to let this volcano erupt? Yes! Okay, three, two, one, go! go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Whoa! Now here's the part where you high school students can take advantage of Do this. Do it again! Okay, just a minute, sweetie. When okay, you, a minute. When you look in we'll here... Look at it every day. Shh, shh, shh. When you look in here, you see that there is unreacted baking soda. Now, for you high school students, that means that it's left over. So, what does that mean? That means it is the excess reagent. I mean, what does excess mean? Excess means leftover, extra. Extra? So, you see in there, there's some leftover baking soda. That means that the vinegar was the limiting reagent, and the baking soda was the excess reagent. Access. So we can still get another reaction if we add more vinegar. Uh -huh. Whoa! Wow. Right? So you high school students can take this a step or two further than what you did in elementary school. Now let's add some pizzazz to our experiment. Let's move this out of the way. Pizzazz? What's pizzazz? Pizzazz just means excitement. Excitement? Recording? We like things to be exciting, right? Recording now. Yes. Okay. Recording now on 5488. Shh, shh, shh. That's enough, sweetie. I okay. said shh, shh, shh. Okay, so we're going to add baking soda to our graduated cylinder here. And I'm using a 500 mil graduated cylinder. Now, if you're doing this on smaller scale, you could um, tear back to whatever you have available to you. And a baking soda that tastes yummy. Baking soda does not taste yummy. You're right. Why? It tastes very salty. All right, so let's fill her up. And I've got, I've got a good bit in there, right? I can't see. That's about 50 mil volume rise there. So let's just pick a color. I'm going to use green this time. Move your hands, bud. Why? All right, now let's see what happens this time. Three, two, one, go! Do it! Here we go. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, 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 you see we've got unreacted baking soda as well. I want to well. do it again. Yes, we will. So what does that mean? The baking soda on the bottom, that's leftover or extra. What does that word mean? Excess yeah. reagent. Yeah. That's right. That's our extra. Now, I'm running out of vinegar. This is all the vinegar that we had in the bottle. So once I'm out of vinegar, I can't do this anymore, can I? Uh-huh. So let's... See how much we can get with just the remaining vinegar that we've got. So once I pour this in, that's all we have. Ready? Uh -huh. Three, two, two, one, go. One, go. That's all we've got. It's so full. It's so full. It's that's going right. down. It's not full anymore. But so the down. vinegar was the limiting reagent. That's right? gravity. That means that, means that when we were out of vinegar, 
The reaction had to stop. Thanks for watching this Hold on. bit. We're not finished yet, sweetie. As you see at the bottom, we've still got unreacted baking soda. So the baking soda is the excess reagent. We'll be right back. That's enough, sweetie. And the vinegar is the limiting reagent. No, we'll now, if right you do back. this with your students, some questions you could ask them as follow-up. Here's some kinds of things that you could think about with your class. What does that say? Okay, I'm going to read it. Make a ratio where baking soda is the limiting reagent. So here we made a ratio where baking soda was the excess reagent. See if you could come up with a ratio where baking soda is the limiting reagent. Make a ratio where vinegar is the limiting reagent. Well, LR. That's, that's what we did. Yes, LR stands for limiting reagent. How will you be sure you correctly identified the limiting reagent? Well, you can tell by visual inspection, right? We've got leftover sitting there. So visual inspection is one way. What's another way you can do it? Something I don't know. For you to think about. Soda. All right. Soda and salsa. That's enough, sweetie. Write a balanced equation for the baking soda plus vinegar reaction. And then also write a balanced equation for the carbon dioxide production. That's what the bubbles were, and we didn't even get into that at all in this video. So you and your students could think about how to produce the CO2. Where is it coming from? Write a balanced equation for that. And then you could also calculate your theoretical yield from a given amount of baking soda. So I hope these are some fun things for you to think about with your students, whether you're at the elementary or the high school level. And go have some fun with baking soda and vinegar. Thanks for watching this video. And, 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 I, have to, and I uh, do a lot of, like science every day, guys. We like science every day. Please do it.